Hey, everybody out there, it's Dave from Chef's Bonus. You know, everybody raved about the Big Giant Pancake. No, you didn't. But I wanted to do something similar to that, something fun on the griddle. It's uh, a trend right now, and we'll see what happens. It brings me back to college. We're actually going to do uh, a ramelette, which is a ramen omelet. Uh, I've got this, uh, this chicken ramen. Take it out of the pack. We're going to hit it with this hot water while the water's still hot. And uh, we're going to just let it get softened a little bit. Put it on the griddle. And then uh, take the, the flavor packets out of here. Whisk it up with these eggs. And we're going to make a huge omelet out of all of these uh, ramen. So, ramelet. Stick with me. See how it goes. Blow away on me, Pan. I need you. I'm going to save these packages inside here, the flavor packs. They're super salty, so I mean, I'm supposed to use, I think it's like two eggs per packet of ramen and use the flavor packet. These things are really salty. I think I'm probably gonna just do like half of that, maybe three flavor packets. I, I mean, when I used to eat ramen in college, I never did like the full flavor packet. I mean, you were, you were an absolute madman if you did that, and it's just not okay. I'll hold on to these just in case, but I mean, it's like 100% salty bouillon, so. I had a buddy of mine who used to just eat these right out of the package in college. Talk about Mad Men. I mean, you know who you are, Seth Burley. So, weirdo. Used to also eat kimchi like 24-7 and would eat uh, beef raviolis cold out of the can. I mean, I don't know what planet he was originally from, but uh, very strange eating habits in college. You know who you are, Seth Burley. Love him to death, though. Odd man, but well loved. All right, so here we go. Hot water. Just gonna let this sit for a minute. I just want this to soften up a little bit. You can tell it's a really nice day out. Real warm. By the way, this is steaming. Like, look at all that sodium. Come on now. I think three is good. I love salt and all. You've seen that. You guys know. Anybody who watches this, this channel knows how much I love salt, but come on. All right. Got my eggs. Want to incorporate some air into these eggs, especially because it's cold outside. You can get a little frothy. I'm going to add a little more flavor. So what I'm going to do is put some sesame oil. Coconut oil down. Coconut oil is going to Increase the uh, the cook temp on the uh, the griddle, as well as add flavor. Some nice hot high heat. Good thing about filming when it's like you know sunny out is that you have to be in the sun. So it's nice that I'm at this pitched angle. I think I should probably stand sideways so that I look like I'm actually standing you know upright. But anyway, so I'm going to drop these in. And then I'm going to form this into a big giant round. I'm going to pour those eggs on there. Make a delicious omelet. So, got to work fast. Want it to be pretty even. Good 
at that. Looking good. So far, so good. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I can smell that coconut oil stewing around in there. Boop, eggshell. See that? We're not all perfect. So I want this all to be one cohesive mass of egg and noodle. So, the good thing is, I'm at a probably 10 degree angle leaning to the right. Wait, that's not a good thing, it's a bad thing. But, you know what I have on my side? Nothing. No, I can cover this up and we'll see how it goes. Open that up, nice and shiny. That should work really well on the camera, which is great. Gonna blind everybody. Don't send me the doctor's bills, I don't want them. I got enough of my own. You think I can do this? I mean, I don't think I can do this. So, I was smarter with the pizza peel though. This is a much better pizza peel. But I need to flip this thing. You know, I lost my guts there, my confidence. Come on. All right, no more big giant foods on this, I promise you. I mean, it sure does look good though. Oh, it smells amazing. Got that sesame, coconut, I can smell it all going. So, drop this back on top. Let that cook. All right, let's have a look. Woo, that's actually pretty good. I mean, not really how I envisioned it going down, but it's pretty good. Now it's one whole solid omelet. But I don't want to, I was going to fold it, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm actually going to do is, you know what I would do if I did this again? Which I will do it again. But what I would actually do is probably do each individual packet and make a bunch of smaller omelets. You know? I think that would be a good idea. Let me cut the heat on this. This looks pretty darn good. It's a heck of a lot better than anything I ate in college, I'll tell you that. So, finishing touches. Something like this. Got some scallion threads here. You know, if you have some chili chili crisp or this is chili garlic paste. Really good. There you have it. The Romlet. 